Good morning. Uh, we're going to do this beautiful schooner, the Thomas and Lannan, in Gloucester Harbor with the nice reflections coming down. All right, we'll begin with a wash of blue uh, for the sky. This is ultramarine with a touch of Windsor blue, or Thalo blue. So just put it on, put, uh, put a path for the water, to, for the color to run between the sails. Take your time drawing that ship out. You know, look at it carefully, study it, and you know, get the details in. That's what the painting's about. You know, it's really about the, those big sails and the, the ship going through the harbor. All right, this is a, a wash, the same thing, ultramarine with phthalo blue. I pushed the phthalo blue a little bit more here to get it warmer and brighter. So just bring it down, let it come all the way down without a problem. All right, we'll put the city in. Uh, this is Gloucester in the background. Uh, just go right across the top first, uh, keep it nice and wet. This is a mixture of violet, just ultramarine with a touch of rose, and I put a little touch of raw sienna in there to gray it down. All right, so you're just going across the top, making uh, oblong shapes and squares, and make it look like a city, a few, uh, Maybe a few churches, steeples going up, up uh, in between. Uh, we're going to come back and put another layer on this, but we just want to get that first, first layer in. Okay. All right, just nice and. All right, this, the ship has some nice reflections, so I'm putting some uh, rose. I'm just letting that come down. In the meantime, I'm taking a fairly dry brush and I'm picking up the ultramarine and a little bit of the Windsor blue. Very dry brush. You can see if you scrape it along the water there, it picks up these little sort of pinpoints of light that give you a little sparkle in the water. Okay, and I'm just going to go right through those reflections. I should have put those reflections in when the water was wet, you know, and let it come down, so I didn't. So I'm just wiping it here so that you have that vertical look, you know, the reflections coming down. All right, nice. This is dr very dry. The brush is very dry here, so, you, you know, keeping those sparkles in the water. All right, as it comes closer uh, to, the, to the foreground, we have some, uh, some waves, so I mixed a little more, a little thicker violet here, so a little ultra rose. I'm just putting some, a few waves, just lines going across, soft edges, not too hard, you know. Give you some nice movement on that water. All right, all right. The foreground is a nice piece of land. This is a raw sienna and quinciana. Just cover that whole area. You know, about uh, two inches up from the bottom, depending on the size of your paper, obviously. All right. This is the quinciana mixed with some ultramarine. Nice and dark. I'm keeping it on the warm side of, of the quinciana here. But there's a lot of shadow, and I have it pointing up towards the boat, so. All right, little edge. All right, now I'm using a very dry brush here. Just pulling that paint up, making the uh, grassy edge on the top of it. Then I'm just putting some longer strokes of grass in there. Go all the way across. few leaves popping up, there's a branch or two with some leaves on it. And I'm, all, I'm using a mixture of the ultramarine uh, mixed with quinciana, some straight quinciana, some ult, uh, raw sienna. All right, nice suggestion of leaves. Just keep them balanced. All right, I'm going back up in the city here. Now that's all dry, so I'm going in with a deeper wash of ultramarine and rose, a uh, little bit of quinciana just to bring it down in value a little bit. But 
you know, just paint across there, leaving some spots, creating a roof line here, a little window shining, you know, just not, nothing. Don't try to make it too detailed, you know, just keep it simple. Let it run across, it will create itself. Give it a little spray when you're finished painting it and let it come down. All right, going across the base with a little heavier paint, uh, less water. Same colors, just a little darker. All right, this, I'm going to paint the sails now. Paint the sails with water first. Wet them, get them nice and wet. And I'm putting a little bit of raw sienna, tiny bit of rose in there, and then touching the corners. Uh, the corners are twisted and turning so they get more shadow on them and they're worn a little more, enriching the, some of the current here, uh, just the same colors, soften them. All right, there's the uh, rose again. I really made a mistake by not putting it in when it was wet, you know, so I'm wetting it now and I'm just pulling it down, I'm putting a little more of the color in the sails. Just keep the edges soft. The sails are moving, flapping, and you know, there's no hard edges on them. All right, that's dry, so I'm putting in the uh, rigging now. A couple of masts. This is a two-mast schooner. That's just a, you know, a mixture of Quincy and a little tiny touch of blue in there. All right, study the photo for the rigging. That's important, you know. These sails don't hang up there by themselves. They're hooked up with the mass. You know, these, all this rigging is connected to the mass. Get a few, a few lines that you can see. You don't have to put every, every piece of detail in there. All right. This is a fun, this is a wonderful ship. It's a really wonderful ship. If you haven't been to Gloucester, you should go to such a great city. And you'll always see this, uh, probably nine months of the year, you'll see the land and sailing. They offer uh, cruises uh, at, you know, a couple of times a day in the summer for about four hours. All right, uh, don't forget the shadow under there. ship is creating a nice shadow. All right, I'm going in with some very dark, uh, almost black here. Just putting in some shapes in the background. You know, maybe a little building here and there. We'll place some, you know, masts sticking up. And a couple of boats in the background. Just little shapes, you know, little lines create a nice sense of boats in the background. And see, I lifted out a sail, a little schooner. All right. Yeah, gives it a nice sense of action, movement in the background there. All right, a piece of rigging going across. I'm gonna add a little touch of gouache here and there. Uh, just a, all right, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. One of my favorite subjects, Gloucester. Thank you, and I will see you again very soon.